the dad louder! Hey, you missed the bit louder! Dad, what are you doing? A spot of horticultural cultivation. One more good bananas. Ah, it was your mum's idea. Make the neighbours jealous. What do you think you're doing? None of your business. Are you all mad? I'm just building the pond the missus always wanted. Yeah, and welcome me up in the process. It's lunchtime. Attack of the vapours, was it? The chaise long calling out to you. You know, I'll stop using all those big words before you choke on one of them. It's keeping me fit, too. Got to be in top form for my pending promotion. Dad, we're renting. Maybe we shouldn't make alterations. And it will only add value. Aye. The neighbours will love it. Actually, Mr Dean. Hey. Actually, you see, I heard my dad complaining to Liz about the uh, mess outside your house. Ugh. What mess? That part of your new circus act, is it? Yeah. You see, Liz says that unless it's moved by Friday, Dad will have to sack you. He never would. Hey, she's an evil woman. Takes one to know one, eh? But I want to make a go of this. I'm, I'm up for being a personal trainer if I play my cards right. As if. Look, Dad, why don't we have a garage sale? Hey, great. Make some extra cash, too. He's a genius, this lad. Uh, really, he is. Uh, you organise it, eh? Cos I've got to finish up here and uh, Steph's got revision to do. <laughs> Puff of smoke. That's how you always appear. Yeah, when I've putrid air to breathe. Hit the earth rock call yet, Mr. Dean? I don't know, maybe. What is it? Oh, bones, I think. Bones? Yeah, loads of them. Oh, they'll be from the massacred family that lived here before you. Well, died here before you. Massacred? Family? Here? It's a long story. Well, why don't you tell us about it, Pinocchio? <laughs> yeah, wait. Uh, tell us. We've not got all day, though. A man. A post man. Went postal. <laughs> Went insane. So his family locked him away in the front bedroom. That's my room. And they had to feed him his food under the door. What, pizzas, then? And nan breads. And anything flat. Anyway, locked inside the room, he went madder and madder. How did he go to the toilet? They gave him a bucket. A bucket? So? Well... Because he was already insane. Why was he already insane? Because he was struggling to raise four kids on the pittance he earned down the mine. Four children. Two boys and two girls. And the thing is, one day, he just snapped over something really true, like they wouldn't pass him the ketchup or something. The ketchup? And a switch flicked inside his brain. He beat the bucket to a bump. And then he made an axe. And in the middle of the night, when everyone was asleep, he picked the lock on his bedroom door and he crept onto the landing. And then, then, and then one by one, he picked off every member of his family. Cobblers. Some say you can still hear the clanging of the bucket in the middle of the night. You're a one. <laughs> you don't think. Well, they never did find all the body parts. I think he ever got his ketchup. Maybe they slid him a sachet under the door. Yeah, uh, nip upstairs, love. Save your dad's old legs. To your room? No way. I've never felt right about this place, and now I know why. It was just a story. You didn't fall for it, did you? Of course not. Chainsaw Massacre reimagined? Our play is on the blink. <sighs> she loves telling porkies this one. Keeps her entertained. <laughs> a face transplant. Just what you need. Well, uh. Mind you, don't trip over the cold spots. She's right, you know. There's cold spots in every room in this house. It's because the heating is old and cruddy. No, I'm serious. It's creepy everywhere you go, and I promise I'm not going upstairs ever again. You're letting your imagination run riot. Then where are the bones from? Somebody's pet cat. Buried alive. Stop it! I'm serious. I'm staying down here tonight. And look at this. It's disgusting. <gasps> what was that? Now she's hearing things. Dad. I'm sleeping in the living room. Living room? Or dying room? Ah! Just don't come scampering down to me when you feel an icy, cold, evil hand grip your throat. Uh, uh, Steph, just for tonight, you, you can stay downstairs. Uh, uh, if it makes you feel any better, I'll, I'll keep you company. 